Are Heart Seekers of Sanesh any good? Fresh off the Seekers video, what we have here is a more elite version in pretty much every way. And that's fine! Let's take a look and see if you should seek something other than Seekers, if it's available. Recruit for 1400, Favor and 350 upkeep. This gets you 60 entities with 6180 health between them. Armor 15, 20 physical resistance, leadership 70, speed 100 and charge speed 120. Melee attack starting at 46 and is both magical attack and poison. Attack interval 4, no splash damage. Melee defense is 40 and that's even better than the Seekers which were surprisingly decent on that score. Weapon strength comes at 46. Split between base 12 and armor piercing 34, with charge bonus 46, and mass 650. Aside from mass, these are mild improvements to the Seekers. Like the Seekers, this is demonic, has vanguard deployment, devastating flanker, and has the soul scent mechanic that puts them into supercharged mode when enemies are wavering or fleeing, which makes things you are already doing, rear charges, using terror units, even better. I'm going to briefly show the red line skills because I just went over it in the Seekers video, and the idea is simple. You get buffs, buffs are good. The rich get richer, the devastating flanking becomes even more devastating. Point being, charge bonus 92 from the flank that gets better from plus 18% from the red line, plus up to 50% extra AP damage if enough stuff is fleeing. These will be absolutely insane at cleaning up the battlefield, even more than your normal stuff. They're still thinly armored, but their ability to help you snowball is simply that much greater than regular Seekers. So, why not indulge? Isn't that what Slanesh is all about? Take care, and have fun aiming for the enemy's heart in a very non-romantic fashion. Mm -hmm.